All right, guys, welcome back to another vlog. So we're just about to head out to Sub 60. They have a special event on for paper cuts. They're just about to release their very first Sleeper Magazine volume number one, and it's supposed to be a really special one. We've got a lot of special friends that are gonna be attending the show. Before we head out, I figured, you know what? I've had a couple of things that came in from Spoon. We should just throw one on. Let me show you what I got going on, guys. <laughs> Let's make this event a little more special. Let me open the box and show you guys what it is. All right, let's do this, baby. Let's open this up. First time the uh, Spoon Type 1 kind of sneaked it out on the uh, Instagram. It is worthwhile following them on their Instagram, you guys, because they do like, uh, you know, tease a little bit of what's to come and what's in production. Most of you guys probably know. Look at this, this is absolutely gorgeous. Even this, even. I'm gonna try to keep all this stuff if I can. So this is the hardware. Uh, let me see if I can get it out of there without, uh, I like to keep all my stuff. Let's put this aside without uh, wrecking it. I know, it's kind of weird like that. So we got the hardware. Let's just set this aside. Okay, let's open this up. Some of you guys already have it, some of you guys don't. I know some of you guys are still waiting for it. Look at this. Okay, let me just uh, take it out of the bag for you guys. Ooh. Ooh. Can you guys see it? Look at that. Full dry carbon. Mm. I like it. Finally, finally, they stamped something on there saying spoon, so it's you know it's spoon. Hopefully the camera can catch it. Okay, let's go throw this on. There is really no instructions for this, you guys. So we're pretty much on our own. So I'm just gonna put the orientation down here to see where everything goes. Okay. So I'm thinking we should take my Chasing Jays out here and here. And it goes like that, like that. So let me uh, go ahead and take that out first, you guys. Let me be right, I'll be right back. Okay, so with the spoon hardware, they give you these little spacers. And I put one here, one here, and I'm assuming the other one goes here, okay? But based on these spo uh, spoon spacers, I can already tell we're gonna have problems with the uh, Chasing J's hardware here. It's too short. All right, so if you guys are wondering, the OEM and the Chasing J's is 20 millimeters. The ones that you'll, you'll need is the uh, 30 millimeters. So if you're gonna order the Chasing J's like I am, you'll need 30 millimeters to get them to fit the spacers. Okay, with that said, it is, it is kind of crappy that I can't run my Chasing J's right now. See how it's just, the shoulders are just a little too small? So you'd probably just, want to get a washer so it doesn't crack the carbon here you guys yeah not even a quarter turn you guys too scared to uh you, you definitely crack it Woo! nice okay off to the sleeper magazine event all right so before we head out to the event one quick stop Perfect. Thank you. No Do you need straws? Sorry? Do you need straws? Uh, yes. Yeah, eh? Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. I tell you. I don't know. It's just something that bubble, bubble tea with cream cheese foam. It's like that little bit of the sweet and salty and savory. So good, you guys. Huh? Yeah. Good, eh, Jay? Pretty good. Getting grease because he's silent, just sucking <laughs> away. It's good. You know when, when he has no words to say, Nothing. that's when you know it's, it's it's that good. That good. Try it. If you have never tried it, bubble tea with cream cheese foam just mm, hits the right spot, you guys. So it's kind of a good idea. Let's uh, let's go get yeah. this vlog started. Every time I go to Sub 60, there's always a lot of good quality cars here, you guys. Let's let's just go around, do one tour around this shop here. 
and I show you guys the cars. All right, so first off, we got Peter Lou. He's doing his doing his thing right now. He's chit chatting it up. But of course, his track car, his wife's car, and it's his daily driver. He got a new daily, and this is pretty sick. And you got a good old taco here, Taco Bell, next to the GTR. I think I've seen this one before. I've seen it before. You don't see much of this. Yeah. You know much about this car, uh, these kind of cars, Jay? So this is a 300ZX, two plus two, meaning two plus two what? It's yeah. four seats. Four seat. Yeah, and it's a, the thing is the dead giveaway on these cars is on the two-seater car, the gas cap is right here. On the two plus two, because it's a four-seater, the gas cap's back here. That's how you can tell right away from it. There you go. We learn you something every day, man. This was my dream car growing up in high school. That and the RX-7. This was my first choice, then the RX-7, but I couldn't afford any of them. Even if I could afford it, I couldn't afford the insurance at the time. The insurance was just absolutely killer, so I couldn't afford it. And then we got Jay's car going back to black. Super clean. I think I'd really like it. You agree? I mean, Are you checking in with your uh, your wife or your girlfriend? My uh, wife. <laughs> My wife. <laughs> he ran the red for a long time, and I, it served his purpose. But I think it's it's time to move on, and I think black is just black is right. Black is back, and. Got some good stuff coming, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully the budget allows it. <laughs> <laughs> Every car guy's problem, eh? Many wants, but uh, pocket, <laughs> pocket is pocket yeah. not deep enough. Nope. But uh, hopefully some new rims. But uh, by the way, these guys are for, these are for sale, guys. If you guys want them, hit up Jay's DM or DM on his uh, Instagram. I'll, li I'll leave the link in the description below. If you guys want them, he is selling them, and they're they're mint. And these are pretty rare color to get to. Oof. This thing can put out some good power here. If you ran into one of these, trust me, on the highway, you get your ass handed to you easily. Okay. You got the Mr. GR Corolla Circuit Edition. Not many of these in Canada. They're very overpriced and yeah, I just leave it as that. Good old Gerald's uh, childhood dream car. This is a three. It is a Mitsubishi 3000 GT. I was almost about to say it's a stealth. That's is that an insult? But anyways, beautiful car to its own. This I really like this. Ooh, RSX. Was it Type S or Type R? RSX. I think it's Type S. Was it Type S back then, or is yeah, it Type it was R? A type S. No, it is, they're, they're different. Integra. Type S, it was Integra. Integra Type R, right? And this was the RSX, RSX was a Type RSX. S. There we go. Almost mixed it up. Yeah, this is this is sick. My nephew had one of these, did it all up, and then he just sold it, and then the guy, I don't know, ran into the water and uh, hydro locked it. Poor thing. This is my childhood car. Grew up driving one of these. It's tiny, you guys, but yep. Grew up driving one of these throughout high school. 88 supercharged. Like I said, dead giveaway is the air vents here on the 88 supercharge. The air vents go this way, and then the standard vehicle goes this way. And of course, the supercharger rear the hatch here, or rear cover, engine cover, has two domes. Woo! Ugh, clean, clean. Enough said. We got Anson's car. He finally painted it and it looks oh, S or yeah, S chassis, sorry. S chassis. Woo! When it's done right, it's done right. Mm. Okay, let's go inside. I'll show you the goods. Woo! Yo, yo, yo. Come here. What did you do with your car now? Oh, no. can I <laughs> wow! Can we uh, can we can we close the? Can we just put just so that they have a a look? You found you don't have to close it all the way. 
Ooh. Oh. New bumper with the Rigged Masters back on and this spoiler. Ooh. 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 This is nice. So what do you guys think? Do you guys like the fans older look or do you like the new updated look here? Ooh, I forgot to tell you guys. The update in the seats too. You see these in Japan and oh my god. <laughs> Alright you fan, what did you do? Um, change up the front end bumper, change up the seats, and put on the rear spoiler. These are the seats that we saw in Japan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the one that Gianni said, Gianni told me uh, it's very comfy, it's yeah, his right? favorite. That's the only reason I got it. <laughs> wow, very nice, eh? Did you change the shift knob too? Uh, no. It's the same one, same one, right? Yeah, I just noticed that. Ooh. Oh, look at the seats, you guys. Woo! Expensive, eh? Yeah. <laughs> kind of pricey. Yeah. Was there a, did you wait long for them or? No, not really. It's actually, uh, got it within a couple weeks. Couple weeks? Yeah. Oh, nice, so nice. from Japan. Nice. Woo. They feel comfortable too. Look good, feel good. <laughs> and then we got an import Bibles car here to get to the track and uh, yeah unfortunately he got told off the track <laughs> don't know what wrong with it yet but uh, yeah it is it is it is what it is that's the life of a track car is uh, you potentially can get told on untold off Ooh, look at the seats very nice oh we got OJ Simpson's uh, glove here all right guys, so let's get right to the sleeper magazine here. But let's go find out what this magazine is all about. I hear you're in the magazine too. Yeah, I'm in a different type of magazine. <laughs> um, so, uh, Lex and Vivian. Hi. Hello. This is their uh, baby. Sleeper, <laughs> volume one sleeper magazine. So you guys want to tell us a little more about your uh, your baby here? <laughs> maybe we'll go over uh, maybe we'll go over here so that we don't uh, get demonetized here. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Like sleeper magazines, like a, it's a car. It's an editorial magazine that we kind of uh, worked on and envision here. Okay. Uh, yeah, we just have love for cars. Uh, we know a lot of people who work on cars, and like, we thought it'd be cool to kind of put something together, uh, especially for the people here in Edmonton. Yeah. Like, yeah, something you don't. It's kind of it's kind of neat because it's like a digital world now. Yeah. But yeah. having something like this with an old school me, 100%. this is something really nice that you can actually feel and and not just digitally, right? Yeah, tactile experience. We, we come from like design backgrounds, so like books, books all the way. Yeah. <laughs> so what made you start this? Um, well, Vivian's parents is. Um, her dad actually owned like a body shop for the past, so like she was exposed to a lot of car, cars in her past. So it's nothing new to her and um, we both kind of like, uh, we shoot a lot of photography, we like telling storylines. Um, and we thought it would be cool to kind of make storylines with people's cars. Oh nice, nice yeah, eh? So, you know, instead of just shooting just cars, it's, we, we love to put like stories behind them. What kind of, and what kind of content? Or is there a specific genre like JDM or, or just in general? How do how do one get his or her car featured in this magazine? <laughs> it's probably, you guys are probably wondering. So. <laughs> For this one right now, this one was just pure JDM. Or we tried to keep it towards JDM cars, but um, we're already thinking about number two. We're gonna open it up a little bit maybe and. Uh, 
come talk to us. Come chat For to sure. Us. And how do you get how, how do you get a hold of you? Uh, you can message us at uh, on Instagram, papercut.club, or at Lex Milo, or at T H R B H T. There you go. <laughs> there you go, guys. If you guys want to get featured, and uh, this is it. This is the number one. And this, one. Is, this is the first one, you guys. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you again. Yeah. Congratulations on your first uh, magazine. I appreciate All right. it. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this week's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, finally got a chance to go through the magazine. It's pretty, some pretty cool content in it. You know, this magazine in a digital world, it's like me buying a postcard and sending it to your friends and family back home. It's kind of a cool feeling, it brings back some great memories. Back in the days I couldn't afford a car. The magazine just allowed me to dream and uh, look forward to what I can achieve in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Go, go pick yourself up. Super magazine. See you guys in the next week's vlog. See ya.